another day, another lovely disbursement camping site in the Oregon woods. <laughs> and another weird concoction. Well, this isn't that bizarre, it's just kind of simple. Blue and I are still in the process of trying to outrun the summer heat. It's not going exactly the way that I want it to, but I mean, it is what it is. It's kind of triple digits surrounding us. We're in the woods right now, obviously, so that's helping. I think we're in like the mid 80s. Yeah, aren't we, Pop? But I have a feeling the next couple weeks we're really gonna be battling the heat. Especially as we go further away from the coast, it's gonna be brutal. <laughs> but I mean, it is August, so I guess it is what it is, you know? There's a lot I need to get done today. I have a lot of computer work to do. I need to do a mini organization on Rue. Well, technically, I, what I really need to do is pull everything out of Rue and do a deep clean and then put everything back in. But I'm gonna wait till I'm in a town to do that. So I have like vacuums and cleaning supplies, stuff like that. So I, Rue needs a deep clean. I haven't deep cleaned him really like since I've been on the road. <laughs> I think we'll do a mini organization thing today. Especially because I have someone coming out soon, you guys. That's going to be sitting in Rue and I don't want them to have to deal with a smelly car, so. The back of this Trader Joe's cold brew says, a case of morning grumpiness is quickly curbed when you have Trader Joe's cold brew within reach. And I feel like that is so true. Grumpiness is cured instantly. I feel so much better. <laughs> Blue is very preoccupied with his ball right now, so I guess this is a good time for me to get to work. doing down there bubby you want to come up for a little bit yeah yeah come on one two three jump come on hop up hop up i'll pull you yeah <laughs> cutting off my leg circulation kid <laughs> Another blue hammock session. Yeah, heal my rash, would ya? I mentioned in a previous video that I had a rash developing and I think I'm allergic to my shampoo because it's spreading and it's getting worse, but I don't think my skin likes it. Cause I have like chicken skin. Like it's gross, but it's the truth. So we're just gonna talk about it, okay? <laughs> it's real life. It started behind my ears and then moved down my neck and now it's all over my face. 
It's the only thing I can think of that uh, would be giving me this reaction. And my mom is a nurse and I sent her all these pictures and she's like, oh, it's contact dermatitis or something. Like I am, I'm having an allergic reaction. So that's great. Hopefully that clears up soon because it's gross. It feels so like rough and I have like all of these tiny bumps all over my neck and my face. Ow. Blue seems better with the hammock this time. Don't ya? Do you like the hammock now? Look at this hammock loving pupper Lou. Dude has no care in the world. Lou, does your mom have contact dermatitis? Look at this cutie pie. He doesn't even care about the hammock anymore. He's a hammock pro. Bubby. Bubby, get up. Up. Oh. Oh, okay. You're just gonna stand there and stare at me? Cool. Alright, I guess we should go organize Rue. Yeah, you wanna help me? Do you wanna help me organize the car, Blue? Thanks for the moral support, kid. Time to organize the room. Songbird of my generation, you know? Alrighty. I feel like my sleeping platform has shifted over because when I was sleeping last night, my feet were in like a really wonky position. Okay. It is so important to stay organized when you're living out of a car. Like, I can't say that enough. I'm usually pretty good about it. I'm just, I fell behind the last couple days. And when you have such a small space, it gets, um, like, messy and crowded super easily. Like, this mess that we're about to clean up only took me two days to get this messy in the car, which is kind of crazy. But, like, this wrapper was probably from last week. What is going on? Everything is in the wrong place. This is supposed to go over here. Okay. Fit this cold brew in the cooler. Yes. When I first started car camping, you guys, this was probably the biggest mistake that I made was not keeping my car organized at all times. And like when I felt like it was starting to get cl cluttered and messy, I didn't stop and reorganize it. And that was like such a chaotic time. It's like some of those like beginner car camping mistakes, you know, that you only make when you don't really know what you're doing. That was me for sure. Keeping your car organized is seriously the number one thing you need to do. It's my number one like beginner's tip. Let everything have a place, like create a place for everything and keep everything in its place. Bada boom, we're good back here. Seeing that took what, two minutes? Like, you just gotta stay on top of it. Now we move on to that mess. Cute. It's like, how does this even happen? Another good tip for beginners is less is really, truly more. Less is more. You don't need a bunch of fancy stuff. To be successful car camping, you don't need a bunch of fancy stuff to be comfortable. You don't need a bunch of fancy stuff to have fun or do really what you want to do. When I first left for the road trip in 2017, I had a bunch of crap that was useless that I did not need. 
I had like nothing that I needed and everything I thought I needed, if that makes sense. Like just a bunch of random useless crap and like no sleeping platform, no cooler, no, like nothing functional. I used to lay my front seat all the way back and sleep in it like that. It was nuts. I had the messiest, craziest setup that just did not work. And get stuff that's super functional. Like get yourself on a sleeping platform so you have storage underneath. Make sure everything has its own place so you don't have random stuff just floating around your car. Your bed is super important too. You wanna make sure that you have a bed that you find comfortable or like you're never gonna make it. Can you imagine sleeping uncomfortably every single night? Like that would suck. I was lucky enough to have my brother build my sleeping platform for me and then I got the little um, mattress from Ikea. It's actually I think like a toddler mattress or something, but it works really well. But anyways, my point is just make sure you have somewhere comfortable to sleep. All right, we're looking better. Everything's kind of organized in the back half now. The electronic side is a different story. Everything is everywhere. <laughs> I'd also say you want to make sure that you do as much research as you possibly can when it comes to literally anything, when it comes to your route, where you're staying, even just like gear you want to use. Make sure you're doing your research, looking at ratings, looking at reviews. Research will save you so much headache. Research was something I did not do enough of in the beginning. Like that was definitely a huge mistake I made. I was just kind of like, I'll figure it out. And, um, that is what gets you into trouble, is if you're not willing to research and look stuff up, pre-plan things, like you've gotta be a little bit of a planner or you're gonna find yourself in deep water, you know? Anyways, I like how I'm just turning this into like a mistakes I used to make video, but it is what it is, it's true. I feel like it's valuable info from someone that's done it. I have no more trash bags, so I just am shoving all of my trash in this chip bag. So, oh my gosh, that's a good tip. Be resourceful. Sometimes you gotta be creative. And be willing to think outside of the box. This, oh my gosh, look at these wires. Like, this is insanity. So that's trash I'll throw away next time I get to a gas station. I'm gonna go ahead and organize this mess. Bringing the fan up, because I need to charge it. Like this fan, I've mentioned it 10 million times, but this is probably one of my favorite gadgets I've ever bought, especially for summer car camping. It's linked in the description below. This thing is a beast. I use it every single night without fail. Like if I didn't have this fan, I would be lost. I would be lost. Smart gadgets are really uh, helpful. I think one mistake I made too in the beginning, especially if you're somebody who's like traveling full time, is I never used to have a plan B. Like I got to a point where I was planning out my routes and stuff, but I wasn't planning out possible plan B if like something didn't work out with plan A. And anytime there was a hiccup, I was lost because I was like, I just planned out my whole day around this plan and now I, I for whatever reason, can't do this. And that was super stressful. So you wanna make sure that you're adaptable and you wanna make sure that you have plan B's for like literally everything. Literally everything, it can't hurt. You can't over plan, okay? That's what I will say. I've got my power inverter hooked up to all the stuff that needs to charge, so whenever I go to drive next, I can just plug my power inverter in and it'll charge all that stuff down there. That's clean over there. Clean and organized back here. Clean and organized back here. Cute. Seeing that probably took me like 10 minutes total. So it's really not that dramatic, I guess. But it is important. I'm trying to think of any other beginner tips I can give somebody who is trying to avoid the mistakes I made when I first started. I would say plug everything into Road Trippers too, roadtrippers.com. It's also an app. I've used that since the beginning. That's a wonderful tool if you're road tripping all the time. But yeah, just be proactive, not reactive. Have a backup plan. Make sure you're smart with what you put in your car. 
Also keep in mind everything has weight so you don't really want to carry something around all the time if it's not going to be like conducive to what you're trying to do. And be smart. And be safe. I think that's pretty much all the mistakes I made. I figured it out pretty quickly but some of those mistakes were rough lessons to learn. <laughs> Like sleeping in my car with the front seat laid all the way down, I think lasted like three or four months and I was like, I've got to do something different. Cause that hurts your back, you know what I mean? All right, you guys, well, I guess that's it for this video. So we're gonna get out of here. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. I only did that halfway by.